Trouble on Main Street. A huge water main break followed by a large sinkhole. It happened in the heart of Ellicott City, Howard County. It is the very same place where torrential rain flooded the area almost a year ago. And WJZ is live right now on Main Street. Rick Ritter has what happened and the impact of it. Rick? Well, Mary, it has been a nightmare out here all day long on Main Street. First, a gas leak on one end, and then the water main break. And if you take a look over here, you can get an idea of the damage, the break itself, and of course, the massive sinkhole that has opened up and actually swallowed a car. Now, crews have been out here all day long working to get this fixed, but the damage is already done. Water came spewing out from the road early Wednesday morning in Ellicott City, causing a sinkhole to form and partially swallowing a car. Crews responded around 5 a.m. to Main Street between Rogers and Klein Avenue and quickly knew the break was taking a turn for the worse. When it water main breaks, it picked up the asphalt like a blanket and filled in underneath and finally failed. So there was a lot of street damage. They immediately started to move cars off the street. We had one car left to move off the street and it actually got caught in the sinkhole. It took roughly three hours just to get the water main shut down, an area where they need to use caution because of how high the water pressure is. But some damage was already done. One car swallowed up, the road caving in and split into pieces, and at least two homes flooded out. Typically, we get eight to ten of these water main breaks in the month, in this month. So this is not unusual. What's unusual is it's Main Street, and it just harkens back to that, that terrible July evening of the flooding. Back out here live along Main Street near Rogers Avenue. Crews have been out here all day trying to fix this water main break. They're hoping to have it fixed by the end of the day, but as you can see, all of this damage because of the sinkhole that opened up this road here on Main Street, again near Rogers Avenue, expected to be shut down for at least a few days. Reporting live in Ellicott City tonight, I'm Rick Ritter, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Rick, thank you. And officials say the break has had no effect on drinking water for residents in that area.